Hello everyone, welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Katie, and today we are going to be doing a kind of a recommendation video. So I'm excited to do this one a lot. So today I am recommending books to some of my favorite Christmas characters. And I just think this is going to be so fun. Feel free to go ahead and do this with your favorite Christmas characters, but I just thought this would be so much fun to pick books that I think some of my favorite Christmas characters would like. So today is going to be fun, that's for sure. And don't mind these books, these are for a different video. <laughs> They're just there for me because I planned ahead and kind of forgot to take them down or do that one first. But I had my number correct, so for this one. <laughs> I don't want to forget the countdown because it's, it's accurate so far. At least I think it is. All right, so the first one that I'm going to recommend something or a book to is The Little Drummer Boy. The Little Drummer Boy. When I think of The Little Drummer Boy, I think of someone who's lost, who's basically a lost Pretty much all hope. He's lost his best friends. He is basically put into slavery and like he just pretty much has no hope left and until he sees Jesus. And so I feel like he needs that type of same character where where it's just a story of just striving to survive and trying your best in hard situations. So the book I'm going to pick for the little drummer boy is over here. When Stars Are Scattered by Victoria Jameson and Omar Mohammed. And this is just a perfect book because we are following um, the author Omar and his brother. And this is based off a true story about the author and his brother who are in a refugee camp in Africa. And they're just patiently waiting every single day to find out if they're going to be refugees and sent to a different country. Or what's going to happen to them? Are they going to be stuck there? You know, they're pretty much, you know, they have very little food. And, um, you know, his brother is uh, has a disability. And so Amar just wants, he wants to go to school. But it's hard for him with his brother and stuff. And just struggling each day to try your best and try your hardest no matter what. And I honestly think he'd love this story as much as I did. So that's my choice for the little, for the little drummer boy. It's hard to say sometimes. <laughs> Okay, the next character, which is kind of funny, but I just really wanted to give this character a book. Are you ready? I am picking out a book for the Burgermeister Meisterburger. That's right, from the very classic um, Santa Claus is Coming to Town movie. I love that movie. That's one of my favorites. And I think the Burgermeister just needs a really good book. So for him... I'm going to choose The Blackout Book Club by Amy Lynn Green. And, I don't know, just some of the characters kind of reminded me of him, especially one girl named Louise in this book. She's just pretty, pretty crusty. She doesn't really care what happens to the library. Um, she wants to do charity, but kind of for her own selfish reasons. Own selfish reasons. And so, just her change throughout the book... I feel like the Burgermeister could really benefit from her and her story and her part of the story and just community and getting together as a community and making friends. So I feel like he needs some friends in his life. Don't you? At least those of you who have seen it. So I'm picking a book for him. He needs a book. So that's what I'm choosing for him. Next one is Charlie Brown. I mean, when we think of Christmas movies, one of our favorites, I hope, is Charlie Brown Christmas. And for Charlie Brown, I think Charlie Brown just needs a hopeful book. I don't know. I think he needs a book about friendship because so many people are so mean to Charlie Brown. I gotta admit, like, that poor kid. It's like he goes through so much. And I just feel like he needs some, some happiness, some friendship stories. So... I think what I'm going to choose for him is, I think I might choose this one. And that one is Hope Was Here by Joan Bauer. And this is about Hope and her aunt and her moved to New York City to help out a local diner 
who this man um, is pretty sick and so they need to come and kind of take care of the diner and so she's kind of kind of the town needs a little bit of hope so I feel like this would be a good book because I feel like Charlie Brown has a lot of hope but just all the people just don't like him I don't know I just think he needs kind of like a hometown book a little bit of home cooking you know just something sweet and comforting so I think this would be a good book for Charlie Brown I think he's like a nice middle grade just about I don't think he's like I don't think he's honestly like a huge adventure type story reader. I think he's more hometown friendship stories um, just about kids and their families in the community. So I think he would really enjoy Hope Was Here. All right, next up is, okay, I'm gonna choose a book for The Grinch. You know I was gonna do it. <laughs> I mean, The Grinch is my favorite Christmas movie. So for those of you who don't know, yeah. So we are actually going to pick a couple characters from the Grinch story because, yeah, it's my favorite. So, the Grinch, what would he like? You could either think of him before he changed or after he changed. I think most of us might pick before he changed, but I think I'm going to do after he changed. So, let's see. What, could we, what would you pick for a Grinch? You know I don't know. I think he might like this book. I'm just saying, even as part of another book, another video, I think he might like Phantom of the Opera. I don't know. There's just something about the Grinch that kind of reminds me of the Phantom, kind of hiding away up in his cave, the Phantom hiding under the opera house. Um, you know, he looks different compared to everybody else in town. So does the Phantom. I just think, honestly, I feel like the Grinch would really connect with the Phantom of the Opera. Yeah, we're going to go with that one. I think he'd like it, actually. Okay, next one is Max. Who doesn't love a fun-loving Max? And honestly, I'm literally looking right at the book I'm going to pick for him. Monster Friends by Katie Van Dorn. Um, this is just, just an adorable book. Like, I think Max would love... All the critters and everything and like if they made a movie out of this he'd be the he'd be the dog looking at the screen as the animals go by like it's a cute book I love this book so much it's one of my favorite books of all time yeah monster friends definitely definitely picking this book for Max <laughs> I think Max needed an animal book sure why not I think he'd enjoy that one okay next question is for Cindy Lou Who and a little bit of a cliche, but guess what I'm going to pick for Cindy Lou Who? <laughs> How the Grinch Stole Christmas by Dr. Seuss. Yes, for Cindy Lou Who. I honestly think she would love this book. If she was like a real little girl, I think she'd love it. I honestly think like she has just this big heart that she like, she's so innocent and so sweet. And like, honestly, she would probably root, <laughs> like cheer the Grinch on and root, root him on to become good like throughout the entire book so for me yeah I would gift this gift this to Cindy Lou Who <laughs> all right so that's my choice for her next up is Rudolph and so Rudolph I was thinking okay so Rudolph is kind of like the outcast he's kind of like the I guess kind of like the the new kid in town and he just he's unsure of himself and everything so I think we need I think we need like a new like a, a person new to the community all right and so for Rudolph I think I'm gonna choose tell me by Joan Bauer so this is about um let me see Anna and she is vacationing at her grandmother's home and so she's in kind of a new and like not, not necessarily a new area but she hasn't been there in a while so she's kind of new to the area she doesn't know what to do and um, she's kind of like Rudolph, where Rudolph sees a situation where like, hey, I could do something about this. I can use my nose. And Anna in the book, she sees something happening where she thinks a girl might be in danger. And she sees what's going on and she needs to help, but she doesn't know what to do. So it's all about her trying to figure out how she can help this girl. And I just love this book so much. It's one of my favorites by Joan Bauer. And I think he would really enjoy seeing another character who kind of was was a new girl who um, 
just also she also loves to like sing and she loves putting on plays and stuff so I think I think he'd really enjoy this character a lot so that's for him all right next up is for Frosty oh Frosty Frosty the snowman you know what I think I think Frosty would like this book Ogre Enchanted by Gail Carson Levine I think he would really enjoy this one and I yeah I don't know why I just honestly what came to my head was this is about a girl who um She's working with her best friend in her in her apothecary store, and uh, Lucinda the fairy comes to her apothecary store, and she's talking to her best friend, and her best friend kind of admits to Lucinda that he might like her more than just a friend, but <laughs> Evie, that's her name, Evie admits in front of both of them that she thinks they can just be friends, and Lucinda, Lucinda doesn't agree with that. She's like, no, you need to love this. You need love in your heart. I'm gonna put a. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make you into an ogre until you find out what love really is. So it's kind of like you know Frosty coming to life and changing, and a girl who changes into an ogre. Makes sense in my head, anyways. So I think you would enjoy this one. Fun, fantastical, just like him. So yeah, that's what we're going with. All right, and then the last two people that I have on the list, I could not do this without Mr. and Mrs. Claus. So we're gonna pick books out for both of them. So I think Mr. Claus, he has seen pretty much everything. I mean, I'm sure he's been through war, through war torn Europe. He's been through the jungles. He's been to North and South Pole. He's been everywhere. So what kind of book would Santa Claus like and I'm just honestly I'm thinking about these like the only one that I thought of ahead of time was Cindy Lou Who <sighs> pretty much so I'm coming up with these on the fly but I like it better that way I think it's more fun so Santa what would Santa like I think he'd like something exciting and dangerous something that's kind of different from the outside norm so I think I'm gonna choose this book where is it Gonna be behind the stuff. <laughs> oh, wrong one. Okay, don't don't come crashing down on me. State of Lies by Siri Mitchell. It's just a high impact thriller story that honestly I think Santa would enjoy. <laughs> I just think he needs something kind of fun and to get to get out of his head. You know, he needs a rest after all that toy delivering and just to have a good time. So State of Lies by Siri Mitchell. I'll pick that one. Also, it's red. It matches red suit. Not a great reason, but it works. All right. Next one is Mrs. Claus, which she's the last one. I kind of wanted to give Mrs. Claus, I think she would enjoy a romance. I mean, or a heartfelt book. Um, but I think a romance would work. Yeah, she's a, she's a romance lover, you can tell. But which one? Ooh, I know. I know. The series right here. The Royal Wedding Series by Rachel Hawk. This is the first book, Once Upon a Prince. I think she would enjoy it. I think it's fun, it's entertaining, and I think this is definitely a, a book that Mrs. Claus would enjoy. Uh, I th there's even a fourth book that's done during the holidays. So I think Mrs. Claus would like Once Upon a Prince and the whole series. So yes, definitely. I think she'd like this. All right. So those are all my books for these characters. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And please comment down below. Uh, what's your favorite Christmas character and what book do you think they would like? I honestly would love to know and I think it'd be fun to find out what we think of our favorite characters. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and I will see you tomorrow for the next one in the Bookmas Fun. Just in case you missed it, I did put the wrong date. It's supposed to be 16 days until Christmas. I um, was pre-filming and I thought this was the one to put so I do apologize. Uh.